Is it just the Grey's Anatomy mid-season finale, or is it very hot in here? But that wasn't the only factor that caused the temperature to rise. When Mika returned to work six weeks later, she was still grieving the loss of her sister Chloe, as one might anticipate. However, Yasuda's suffering appeared to be more profound. She was reminded of her loving younger brother whenever she glanced in the hospital. Mika once lost it after a patient at the emergency room had a heart attack and yelled at Bailey, you're letting him die. You should be a doctor, right? Everything goes approximately as badly as you could think. Mika appears out of control the entire time, says disturbing things about her sister and death at the morgue, and goes fully crazy when she and Bailey are working on a patient who begins coding. Until it becomes evident that she is yelling over her sister's death, she is having a breakdown in the middle of the emergency room, she yells at Bailey that she is allowing him to die. Jules was then dragged into an on-call room by Mika, who begged for assistance in feeling normal. It seems that a little sexual healing worked. Bailey reassured Mika that she could take as much time as she needed to heal both physically and emotionally after she expressed regret for her breakdown. The issue was that Yasuda stated, I don't think I can come back. After packing her locker and giving Jules a heartfelt farewell kiss, she departed. Mika is aware that she has to apologize to Bailey and have an honest discussion about the situation. Because she understands sadness, Bailey is the ideal person to talk to right now. She informs Mika that even though her mother passed away at Gray Sloan three years ago, she still has moments that make her lose her temper. You just learn to live with grief, it's not something you get over. Previously, Simone referred to it as Mika's new normal. Bailey also understands how difficult it may be to operate in an environment when trauma has occurred. She truly wants Mika to take her time, recuperate, and return just when she's ready. Mika, however, acknowledges that she thinks she will never be prepared to work in this institution. Everywhere she looks, she sees Chloe's face. She must go if she is to have any hope of progressing. She is aware that this is what she must do since she understands herself. Bailey is unable to dispute that. I hope the video is enjoyable. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.